everyone, I'm Matt. Welcome back to another video. Today we are taking a look at the brand new 2020 Thor Challenger. This is model 37TB. This is a great class A luxury motorhome with bunk beds and bath and a half. We are gonna take a look at the outside features first, then the inside features, then I'm gonna give you the three things I love about this motorhome and the three things I dislike about it. We're starting in three, two, one. Again, welcome back to another video. My name is Matt from Matt's RV Reviews. It's the world's only channel that gives you a true unbiased review about everything when it comes to RVs. So if you find reviews like this useful, consider subscribing. And again, today we are taking a look at the Challenger 37TB. Now the Thor Challenger is Thor's top of the line tier four class A gas motorhome. Super luxury, nice, and it's just one of my favorite products out there. Let's get started up front. You do have full body paint throughout the whole motorhome. It does come standard. And you have a nice big windshield with a fiberglass front cap. And what I really like is these LED lights here and how big these lights are. So when you're driving down the road, you have plenty of lights that you're able to see. Model number is 37 TV, but the actual tip to tip length is 38 feet, three inches. And the MSRP on this thing you ready? Is a whopping $208,000. $208,350. But we all know we don't pay MSRP. And I'll have a great, I'll have like the sale price and everything down in the description below. But uh, let's get started. You do have frameless windows throughout the whole RV. Up here you do have chrome mirrors with your cameras integrated in the mirrors right there. And what makes this a tier 4 motorhome is the bigger tires and chassis. This has the nice big 22.5 inch tires and it sits on a 24,000 pound chassis. So it's going to be a lot better driving experience than something on a lighter weight chassis. Did I mention frameless windows? Okay. Here's your television right here. Outside TV with sound bar. You have these all aluminum slam latch doors. These, these are great. Nice luggage style doors and good um, seals right there. And you do get some really good passenger storage right there. Looks like we might need that ladder for the outside. Over here, here's some more storage. <clears throat> and some more storage here. Because this is the bigger chassis, that's why you're able to get so much exterior storage. And you have not one, but two on it. Let me show you this. awnings so these awnings are gravity fed <clears throat> so because we're on an angle we I had to pull them out some Check out those awnings. Both awnings do have LED lights. And I don't like how the slide out's on this side, but it is a big motorhome, but you still get plenty of awning space. Very, very nice. Right here is your fresh water tank. Right here is a tankless instant hot water heater. You got more storage right there. And guess what? Do you know what that is, Will? Dog tie. Oh, all right. Yeah, <laughs> dog tie. I just found that out. Right here's your propane tank. Um, this looks like it's about a 40 pound tank. I will have all the specifications, the tank sizes, the lengths, the widths, everything down in the description below. And it is an 80 gallon fuel capacity. Look at this, even more storage. And then right there is an LP quick connect if you want to have a grill. 
coming around the back. Um, okay, so that ladder was for the inside bunk. But coming around the back, you have a rear fiberglass cap, just like on the front, which is nice. You have an 8,000 pound hitch, but this motorhome cannot tow 8,000 pounds. The gross combined weight, the gross combined vehicle rating is 24,000 pounds, and the combined weighting is 30,000 pounds. So really, it's safe to say you can tow 6,000 pounds. If you pack this thing the right way, you can tow a little bit more, but just be careful. Make sure you weigh your motorhome before you tow anything. And then right up there, you do have a backup camera. Also, your fuel station fill up is right here. I like that, especially on a motorhome this length, because sometimes it's hard to go to one side or the other at a gas station. So when it's in the rear, you can get it on both sides. And it does have a one-piece TPO roof. Let's go up there and take a look. Great, up here on the roof, you can see that it's a one-piece TPO roof with a 12-year warranty. This is actually cool, I've never shown this before. It's what the awning looks like when it's fully extended. I will. It is a 50 amp motorhome with two AC units. Both AC units are 15K with a heat pump. And then this is your digital antenna Wi-Fi booster right there, where you can get your own personal hotspot. You have max air covers, and then right there, it is prepped for solar. Great, and if you haven't already, make sure you hit that thumbs up button. What other RV salesman's gonna get up on the roof to show you what features it has on it? Coming around the driver's side, right here is your dump station. Uh, I like this, it's clean, it's open, um, this, okay good, this tilts up so you get like an angle thing right there to be able to dump your tank and it's fully enclosed, I like that. <sighs> right here's your Cummings Onan 5500 gas generator and it does run off the gas tank. Over here is your 50 amp power cord, and then that's where you plug it into your motorhome right there. Over here is your sanitation station and your second black and gray tank dump. So that one was for the master bedroom, this one's for that half bathroom. And then this is real clean and nice. I like the water filtration system right there. Little outdoor shower, making it nice real clean easy setup and then this is just the other side of the pass-through storage and then this right here this is uh, your 1800 watt magnum inverter for your residential refrigerator which I'll go over on the inside and this is your hydraulic leveling and battery station oh I almost forgot to mention Alcoa rims, standard, I love those. Great, but that's the outside of this RV, but it looks even better on the inside. Let's go take a look. All right, entering this motor home with the slide outs in because all my customers wanted to see it on my YouTube videos. So here's what it's like when the slide outs are in. You are unable to get to that rear bathroom there, but you are able to comfortably get to this bathroom. You have plenty of seating space, plenty of uh, plenty of walking space. The only tight spot is in between the oversized dinette. Now in the Challenger, you do have this multiplex wiring system. And let me get these slide outs out. While I'm doing this, I would like to take a second to ask a favor. If you could, leave a comment down in the comments below. Let me know the three things you love about this RV, and let me know the three things you don't like about it. The more comments I get on my YouTube video, the more YouTube likes to promote my videos, and so I really appreciate it. And guess what, Well, 
What? There's something else that you don't even know about. Guess what's coming out tonight? What? Take a guess. I swear to God. Will has no idea. Is that a new motorhome? No. It is. Hang on. www.natsrvreviews.com I bought the GoDaddy last night. <laughs> it's coming out tonight. It might come out tomorrow. I need Jen to uh, make it look good. Oh, okay. But I did buy it. Nice. Can you believe nobody had MattsRVReviews.com? Yeah. I couldn't believe it. I thought I might have had to get a .org. <laughs> <laughs> cool. All the slide outs are out. Let's take a look at this new cockpit area. Look at this. New... <clears throat> what's this thing called? N-Dash Media Center. That's pretty nice. Look at this new N-Dash Media Center. 10.1 inch. Very easy to read, very easy to control. You have navigation right there. Everything at the touch of your fingers. Look at that, that's just nice. Here in the cockpit area, also new, is that they're added, they added this, um, whatever you want to call it, the wood grain look for the Challenger. Because the Challenger is their tier four top of the line. There's not very many differences between a Miramar 37.1 and a Challenger 37 TB. So they, they really tried to take this line and distinguish it a little bit more. I'll tell you the other differences inside the motorhome. But they have that there. They have your LCI auto leveling right here. It just feels like a command center, which I really like. Also, I like these two-tone seats. Both seats do twirl around, come part of the living area. And my favorite part about doors is these computer stations. They're sturdy, they're firm, they're big, they're nice. They don't shake, rattle, and roll while you're driving down the road. Also, because we know we're all bad drivers, you do have replacement paint. Not that nobody's ever scraped a tree or anything before. And then you do have a bunk over the cab, and it does hold 500 pounds. Now, outside, I did say that it had two 15K BTU air conditioning units. I'm a liar. It is 13.5 BTUs. Sorry about that. But over here in the kitchen area, I'll one of the other big differences between the Challenger and the Miramar is this oversized dinette. There's two really distinctive di um, differences. One, this has a nice big dinette. It, I feel like it's wider. It does make it smaller when the slide out's closed, but it's very spacious, comfortable for four people to sit in it. Also, the Challenger has the bigger refrigerator. So let's check this baby out. Look at this, you got ice maker, water maker, every maker. I mean, look at this fridge. I mean, this is just nice. Fridge, freezer combo. This is just nice. I mean, if you plan on spending a lot of time in this thing, it's gonna work out well. Also, it has a 100 gallon fresh water capacity, which I'm pretty sure it's the biggest for a gas motorhome. Over here in the kitchen area, you have nice Corian countertop material, solid surface. You have a dual sink there. Right there's a little trash can that costs you 500 bucks. Over here, you have really nice cabinetry. High gloss cabinetry, plenty of remotes. Look at these drawers. Look at this. And it's hidden hinged. It is hidden hinged cabinetry. It's just an upgraded, better look. Right here's your microwave convection oven. You don't have an oven, but because you have the convection oven. Here is your induction stove top. Look at this. This is nice. This just feels cast iron. Probably not, but it just feels that way. And you do have induction, so you can have a little bit of both. Over here in the living room area, here's a nice sofa. It is trifold. You have cabinetry above. Look at this artwork. That's fancy. I like it. And then right here is your TV. Now, I hate the TV placement in this motorhome. It's going to be one of my biggest dislikes. But look how easy they make that. Very easy, very nice. Uh, the whole thing is with this motorhome, you're not in it to watch TV. You know, you're in it to go camping and to have plenty of space. So it is nice that they have that. Over here in the bunk, bunk bed area, uh, you have two TVs in there. What I love is the bunk beds do flip up to become a wardrobe area. And you do have these nice wood doors to shut those kids up. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Over here in the 
Uh, this is the half bath. Uh, here's your tankless and the hot water heater controls. Max air fans. Ton of cabinetry in here. And you do have a porcelain toilet. You can sit on it? No, I'll sit on the other. Okay. I know I, that's what everybody's waiting for. Cool. Over here in the master bedroom, it is prepped for a combo washer dryer. You have a TV right here. Maybe there's not storage. Nope, no storage behind the television. Look at that. You got plenty of storage in here. Very nice. You have a tilted view king bed. Look at all that storage above there. Really big. You have your uh, cell phone chargers programmed into the uh, side. And this bed does tilt down to become a king bed. You do have to tilt it up uh, for transportation. And then over here in the master bathroom, have a great big 30 by 36 shower, which is plenty big and spacious, very nice. I like this glass door like this. And then over here, again, plenty of cabinetry. Oh, I forgot to mention, you do have these nice slow riser shades. And then here's the toilet. Look at that, plenty of space. Toilet paper right there, really comfortable. Great. That's the uh, 2020 Thor Challenger 37 TB. It's now time for me to give you the three things I love about this motorhome and the three things I dislike about it. What should I do first? Three things you love. Okay, three things I love. Very, very easy. <clears throat> I love this big refrigerator. This is the biggest refrigerator I've seen in a motorhome yet. Real big. This motorhome sleeps seven, eight, nine people. You know, you're gonna need some food. I absolutely love that. Second thing I love is this dinette. I like the oversized dinette. It's funny because this dinette is also a dislike. So maybe I should do this third. Hang on. Let me rewind. Uh, second thing I love is this new navigation station, this whole cockpit area. It looks great, it's easy to control, it's easy to see and navigate, which has been a customer request for years now. Ever since I started five years ago, people always complain about not having navigation or not being able to see it or not being able to touch the screen. Big props to Thor. And third thing is this dinette, which, did I mention? There's no storage there, but there is storage under here. So, I love how big this dinette is. I mean. Look, put that down. Put the camera down. Can you see us? Sit in this dinette with me, Will. Okay. I mean, look at this. This is comfortable. Remember when we were in the Windsport at Beth Page and we were all like, you know, hey, go pass the butter, you know, I'm like eating like this. So I really like how big this dinette is. Great. Now the three things I don't like about this motorhome. I'm about to contradict myself. I don't like the amount of space, how narrow it is right here when the slide out's in. So it's a pro and a con. Because you get the bigger dinette, when you're driving, it's a smaller area. That's a dislike. Number two, I personally do not like the tilt of view king beds. I get why they do it. Look how much space we have here. But the way my family camps, uh, my wife sometimes likes to lay in the bed while we're driving down the road. And when the bed's tilted up, she can't do that. So that's one of the flaws with the tilted view bed. But that's just a personal opinion. You know what else I forgot? There's a bedroom door. I'm off today, Will. I'm off. <laughs> Great. And the third thing I do not like is outside. I do not like how they put an 8,000 pound hitch on it. It is very misleading for the customer. Uh, there's too many uneducated RV salesmen out there who will tell somebody, hey, 8,000 pound hitch, that means you can tow 8,000 pounds. That's simply not the case. Safe to tow 5,000, safe to tow 6,000. Anything over 6,000 pounds, you really wanna be careful and you want to weigh your motorhome, 
because when you're towing something behind you, you gotta be very cautious because it's a safety factor. But that's it. That's the 2020 Thor Challenger 37 TB. Again, do me a huge favor. Comment down in the description below. Let me know the things you liked about it, things you didn't like about it. If you have any questions about this RV or any other RVs, send me an email. It's mattsrvreviews at gmail.com or check out the new website, mattsrvreviews.com, www, on the World Wide Web. Uh, if you want to see other motorhomes, Class A bunk motorhomes, I'll have videos right there. And if you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button. You know, that way you don't miss a video. Thanks so much for watching, everybody. I'll see you next time.